A local police chief with ties to Ferguson, Missouri, openly criticized the way Captain Johnson has been handling the crisis. The criticism came in the form of an online letter, an open website for everyone to see. As News 5's Avery Cotton reports, the prominent law enforcement officer held nothing back. Three words, you blew it. I saw some stuff uh, here and there on Facebook. An open letter is making the rounds on social media. It's addressed to Captain Ronald Johnson heading up the chaos in Ferguson, Missouri. It's written by Gulf Shores Police Chief Ed Delmore, and he doesn't hold back. Chief Delmore addresses the looting and the chaos in the town. I completely understand the, the fury, things like that, but you also have to, you know, work within a certain parameter. So I don't think they need to go through all the violence that they going through. He calls Johnson, quote, a media darling, saying he played to the cameras when he was first summoned for the job by Missouri Governor Jay Nixon. Delmore goes on to say Johnson fueled the protesters' anger when he criticized the release of a video showing Michael Brown as a robbery suspect. Delmore argues the robbery video and the name of the officer who shot Brown came out much too late. Mobile County Sheriff Sam Cochran agrees. In this new age of social media and, and electronic news media, the information gets out there so fast and to so many people that you've got to stay there with it. I mean, you can't police and release information the way we did many years ago. Sheriff Cochran reminds us about past events that could have gotten out of control like the one in Ferguson. The Gill Collar incident was a, a, a terrible situation. It was a person that was unarmed, was shot by an officer. Uh, the, the, the community was really casting doubt on the officer. Sheriff Cochran believes the quick handling of the collar case minimized protest, something which was not seen in Ferguson, Missouri. Reporting in Mobile, Avery Cotton, News 5. And if you would like to see the chief's full letter to the captain, this story is posted on our website, wkrg.com.